a massive deal for Newcastle, the whole of the North East, the community community. So we're working in partnership with the BBC. We're working on a five year development project and this comedy festival is the first of its kind in Newcastle. The entire broadcasting community is in the region, doing loads of events, meeting loads of talent and actually we're just going to really get some good shows kicking off and we're getting made. So why is this happening? Well, there's money here, yeah? There's definitely money here, so the BBC have made a commitment to spend 25 million in programming over the next five years out of the North East. My job is to support regional people having an opportunity to be able to develop ideas and concepts so we can get some shows. The next Derby Girls could be coming out of Newcastle or Middlesbrough or Sunderland. So what's your message then to people out there who might want to get involved? Um, check out our website, so it's northernmedia.org. If you're really interested, whether that's in front of the camera, behind the camera, all of the information is on there. Get signed up, get it looking at it. There's a real opportunity for the region. And for us, being supported by North of Tyne, you know, they're funding our project, they've, we've got a real commitment, so let's get North of Tyne people behind it and working in the industry. It made me more confident able to go out and do things like this, speak to people that I would never really speak to. Speak to. It's made me feel like I am more confident of a person. And what would your message be maybe to anyone who is in the same boat you were? Go and do it. Whatever you're thinking of doing, go and do it. It was about telling a story and dropping a star and then telling where you like to be most. So what did you come up with? My best friend. Yeah? <laughs> and what, 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 was it, what was it like to, to do this thing, this creative thing? It was fun and also nervous. And what did, did you meet the mayor? Yeah. What did you think of him? He was kind and nice. It's amazing how you're able to take something that seems meaningless on the surface and able to bring meaning out of it and be able to tell a story with which decisions can be made and patterns can be identified and studies can be carried out. So yeah, so it has so many benefits. And the thing is this, in, there is no organization at the moment that doesn't have any data behind it. So either they're trying to understand their customers or their behavior of their customers or even the buy patterns of their customers, depending on what they say, depending on what services they provide. With data, they're able to understand their customers and deliver their customer services better. I think it's not only important for those people who are going to do the work with me, but also for others to remind of the long history of migration to this island. But also for people really who come here, I think it helps to root, to find your roots and establish yourself, really discovering this most beautiful part of the landscape here in the northeast. And it's really powerful to walk together, share food together, and um, it helps you to build a belonging, really experiencing the most beautiful things of this uh, part of the world.